So my power steering pump is starting to make some noise. I'm getting a few leaks on the ground. So today we're gonna pull out the power steering pump, rebuild it and reinstall it in my 1988 BMW E28. I started out by measuring the stationary steering weight to be a touch under 15 pounds. I'm hoping this will be improved by the end of the rebuild. After that, I'll jack up the car to make things easy and I can begin draining all the old fluid from the system. So now that the steering fluid is pumped out, the first two lines that we're gonna disconnect are these two hoses that come all the way down to the pump and lead up to the reservoir. It should be a 19 millimeter and a 22 millimeter. So let's get that off. There wasn't enough clearance to remove one of the bolts, so I just pulled off the hose. Now the pump just needs to be pulled off its mount and then you can unbolt the bracket from the top and lower it down. And just like that, we got the power steering pump out of the car. It only took a total of five bolts to take everything apart. And uh, we got our rebuild kit here, and we're just gonna tear this thing apart and replace all the seals. I did clean it up a little bit to make it a little easier to work on. But uh, other than that, let's just start tearing this thing apart.
Since I had the chance, I decided to loosen the two lines and also pulled out the reservoir for a nice refresh. It only takes one 10 millimeter bolt to pull it out after that. And just like that, we got the power steering system rebuilt and restored. I couldn't help with sandblasting and painting everything since I had it out of the car already. But uh, now for the install, we're gonna do everything we just did, but in reverse. We're gonna start with the power steering reservoir. We're gonna attach all the tubes and hook it up. And then we can move on to our power steering pump. The easiest way to throw this back on the car would be to reinstall the hanger and attach it to the hanger first. And then everything else should just swing right into place from this bracket right here. Not too bad, so uh, let's get started. Now that we have our reservoir installed, I even installed one of our restored brackets down there. Kind of hard to see. After that, we're just going to support our pump by one 13 millimeter bolt with the bracket, and it should be held up, and then we can bolt in the rest of the pump and tighten everything down. I decided it was easier to bolt the pump onto the mount first, and then bolting it onto the bracket before tightening it all down. Alrighty, so we finally got everything hooked up, everything's tightened down and bolted up. So now we can finally start adding fluid to our power steering reservoir. First thing you're gonna wanna do is put your screen back in and snug up that C-clip. If you haven't changed your filter already, the filter is actually at the bottom of here. You're gonna have to remove one more C-clip and you could pull this out and uh, replace your filter. I have a BMW handbook and it doesn't tell you exactly how much fluid to take, but I've already replaced the fluid in this thing once. And um, I've used less than two quarts, and this is the stuff I've been using. Two quarts should be more than enough. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that in. And after you do pour it in, you're gonna have to pump the brakes around 10 to 20 times to get the fluid actually going through the system and then top up if needed. But um, after this, we'll We'll start the car up and see what she does. After pumping the brakes and turning the car on, wait for the pump to pull in the steering fluid. You should see it release a large slushy of air bubbles before topping up the system. So after we filled the system, I let the car sit overnight to help any extra air escape the system, let everything settle. And before driving it on an open roads, I would recommend taking the car to an empty parking lot like I'm doing right now. And just do a couple lock to locks, do a couple circles or a couple donuts if you can. And just make sure everything's working right. can't seem to get the car to break traction, but I don't even know if that's a bad thing. The car sticks to the ground. But everything's feeling pretty darn smooth. Just like that. Now that we know that everything's working properly, let's see what the steering weight is. While you're driving, the steering weight is great. You can feel that it's a lot smoother, but I'm a little curious on how the stationary weight would be. So if we turn this this way, put our gauge on the steering wheel. Before we got around uh, 15 pounds, so anything under 15 pounds, which is right here, would make me incredibly happy. All right. And yeah, we're just a touch under 15 which honestly is just fine with me. This car is over 35 years old. 
So expecting five to eight pounds, which I was, is absolutely ridiculous. It's just a bit over 15 pounds, around 15. Kind of the same, but while you're driving, everything feels fantastic. So on that note, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you want to see anything else regarding the 28, let me know. We do have a couple other videos coming out, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.